Celestial Blessings, my name is Helen Dimitriou and today I'm going to talk to you about Twin Souls, otherwise known as Twin Flames. Now I do have a Twin Flame video, um, but because of the volume of emails I've been receiving regarding Twin Souls, I thought I'd make an additional video. Now a Twin Soul or Twin Flame is not like a soulmate. Even though the feelings are similar to when we meet a Twin Soul or soulmate, they're not the same because a soulmate is a soul that we was within a past lifetime and we've incarnated in future lifetimes together not every lifetime but in most lifetimes now a twin soul or a twin flame is a soul that was created by the creator was split into two one half was put into one body and the other half was put into another body now, it doesn't mean that just because you have been split, it doesn't mean that your soul is not complete. You are complete, but you're still half of a whole, if you can understand. And the mission for every twin soul is to incarnate and to try and find each other. When these two souls, or two halves of a soul, meet and connect, they feel completion, satisfaction, contentedness, and together they can work on healing the world or changing the world or changing the energy of the world or the vibrations of earth and basically doing good. Now we don't always meet our uh, twin soul in every lifetime. We can go from lifetime after lifetime of searching for that twin soul but never finding them. Usually this is because we need to learn a lot of life lessons in order to cope with the impact of meeting our twin soul. Now some people say that a twin soul can be, you can incarnate and it could be your mother uh, or your father or your brother or your soul, sister or your daughter or your son, but usually a twin soul, um, two twin souls are in a, a um, are the bodies of the opposite sex or if you're gay they could be of the same sex, but it's usually a romantic love. Now the feelings when we want to meet our twin souls can be quite devastating, it can be in agony at times because we feel that something is missing. We could be with the love of our lives but still we feel that there is a part of ourselves that is empty. There is always a yearning for something else because each time when we incarnate our, um, our heart and our soul sends off vibrations to the universe a calling to the other half to find us or to make themselves known to us. Now, apart from the feelings of um, feeling empty or like you're half a soul, um, you can also feel that um, you can never be satisfied. Um, you feel this yearning inside. You may have dreams of having the perfect love, the perfect union, and you may wake up and feel sad and um, alone. A lot of people that are, are avidly and um, practically searching for their twin soul can feel quite um, devastated and in deep need to reconnect with the other part of their soul. Now a soulmate on the other hand is somebody that, as I said before, we incarnate with, we can incarnate with soul families um, who we've, we've been with in past lives and we, a soul family is just basically a web of um, souls that we've been incarnated with before and we knew each other before and then we're incarnated into this lifetime and we recognize each other in this lifetime and maybe in past lives we could have been mother and brother and sister and father or we could have been best friends we could have been lovers but it doesn't matter basically mean that that is our twin soul there is some schools of thought that believe that we can have multiple twin souls as far as what I've learned from research and from my own guidance and experience, we can only have one twin soul because the soul is split into two halves, as I said before. And many of us, we do go on a mission where we search for the other half of our soul, finding that we cannot be complete, we cannot feel happy, we cannot feel content. We yearn, we love this person, but we don't know where they are, what country they're in, uh, how old they are, what their name is, even if they've incarnated on this earth at the same time as us, or even if they're in um, the age range of our, our own generations, you know. So 
basically if you are somebody that feels that something is missing even if you're married or in a relationship and you do love your your partner yet feel that there is something else something missing you need that someone to understand then you're probably searching for your twin soul also and when we meet our twin souls there is attraction our souls recognize each other and they're drawn to each other and they are attracted to each other and they need to be together they dream about each other if they're both spiritual they may have meditations where they see the think, same things in meditations to eat with each other um, they usually finish this, each other's sentences or have the same ideas at the same time and they can call to each other mentally more easily than soulmates will call to um, their other soulmate so basically this is a little bit more information about soulmates and twin souls and soul families so thanks for watching have a great day bye, -bye.